Hi, and welcome to the studio. I'm in a new temporary space. In this studio, I don't have my easel and I can't hang anything directly on the wall since it's basically a living room and I need to keep it somewhat intact and in good shape. I decided to build a painting wall, which you can see behind me here. It's actually worked out really well. So I just wanted to share a bit about that in case you might be looking to do something very similar. Now, because I don't have my easel with me at the moment, I'm painting on unstretched canvas and I needed to staple that canvas on a wall. So I needed something solid and supportive, but I'm also not in this space forever. So I needed to take it apart to be able to take it apart as well. So the wall overall is seven feet tall by six feet across and of course could be any dimensions to suit your space. I have two fairly lightweight wood panels that I got cut specifically for this and I built a frame around the edge out of two I4s and then there are two cross braces in here uh, behind the wall to support it. So the seam actually runs, uh, between the two boards, actually runs along here. And those are screwed to a two by four. Um, and then I put some screws at the top and bottom. And I think there's one somewhere in the wall here to put this part of the wall on the two by four as well. The wood is not terribly strong or thick, uh, which makes it lightweight and nice to work with, but it did need that little bit of extra support. So basically it's got a frame around at the back and then these two braces and then I put it on some feet with a ang an angle support and I'll show you that. So here you can see that it's on a foot and I'll show you the side view as best as I can as well. So pardon the shaky footage here, I'm just holding the camera by hand. Uh, but here's the bottom of one of the sides of the wall so you can see the board. And here's the bottom part of the frame. So it's on a foot here and has a metal bracket to support it. Now I wanted to keep the foot pretty short. I think it's just about two feet, maybe a bit longer. So I cut a brace to support it. And I just eyeballed this angle along here and cut it by hand. And see where it reaches down to the ground. And then about halfway up, the cross brace attaches to the frame. Now I brought all of my canvases with me unstretched. And I needed to hang them somewhere and I don't have my stretcher frames with me. So do you see those two two by fours at the top of the wall? So I screwed two two by fours, kind of these arms at the top of the wall. And I tried to put quite a few screws in there to make sure that they were strong enough. And then I've actually stapled my canvases to uh, so, sort of small rectangular dowels that I had cut. It's basically a plank that I had cut into uh, about kind of three quarter inch or half inch by half inch um, sticks essentially. And then I have screwed those on to the arms. So actually behind the wall, all of my canvases are suspended. So hopefully you can get a sense of the side view here. Now I started to screw hooks into the top of these little bars up there and suspend them from the two by fours that are sort of the arms so that I can unhook each canvas when I need it, if I need to remove it. So that's my wall set up and it's working really nicely. Um, a few things that I would change or that I will change when I move it to a new area and maybe have a bit more space 
is I would put casters on the bottom feet because when I need to either put a finished painting like this one at the back of the wall or take out a painting from the back of the wall, the entire wall needs to be slid over. Now I've covered the floor in pretty heavy plastic, so it's not that difficult actually to slide the wall. Uh, but if it was on casters, that would be even easier. It's just, it's a little late now. Uh, and I'm only in this space for a couple months more. So next time I construct the wall, you know, after I take it apart and re reconstruct it in my new space, I'm gonna put casters at those bottom feet. And yeah, like I mentioned, I, I don't know if that made sense, but I'm basically taking rectangular dowels kind of and stapling my canvases to them so they're suspended and not being stored rolled up. Now I've got hooks on top of those dowels and other hooks on the arms at the top of the wall there. So I can hook each dowel uh, onto the arms and kind of unhook it when I need to remove the canvas. So it's not really a system where I can take the canvases out easily all the time. If I had a bigger space, I probably could do that. Um, and maybe if I had organized it a little better, um, I did have a bit of a time crunch. So I just wanted to mention that too, um, that it's great for storing canvases. Not always you know, quick and easy to get them out to show people immediately. Um, but I think with a little kind of rejigging and a bit more space, it could work just fine. So I hope that's helpful for your own studio organization. It's a bit of a different way for me painting, but I actually really enjoy painting on unstretched canvas right on the wall. Uh, there isn't as much bounce, I don't have to worry about getting the stretcher frames to fit in the car. And then when it comes time to show or sell them, I'll stretch them at that point. Often they can ship rolled anyways though. Um, so I'm, I'm really enjoying the versatility of this. Let me know if you have any questions at all. I'm not a pro at building walls or equipment or things like that. This is just really out of necessity and I wanted to share it in case uh, any of you are working through similar conundrums. Thanks so much for watching and happy painting. Visit NicoleSleethAtelier.com for art courses, demos, and more.